All right, everybody, good morning. Here is, he just turned. Hammer's luscious locks have been like broadcasted by the sun up on his, there you go, blown in the wind. Oh, there we go. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is a windy morning here in the field. Let's get all of our tents down. Everybody's packing up. And it's about time to head back to trail. There was the shower. It was actually pretty warm. All right, this guy's got a trailer with a, a catwalk, literally, into this pen. Oh, look, there's a cat in the catwalk. There's one cat <laughs> right there just checking us out, checking it out. Another one there. We are just about to leave the Joshua Inn this morning. This is our, our chariot with our our backpack. Everybody's filming. This is where I left off yesterday, and that was my U-Haul that I got a ride in back here at the trail. Look at this big view we have this morning. It's about 7.45 a.m., and we're planning to try to do at least 20 today since we had a little shorter day yesterday. As I'm walking here this morning, I didn't share you a story yesterday. Um, I was telling my crew about it last night and we were talking about it again this morning and Roadrunner said, you need to tell that story on your channel. It's funny. I'm like, okay. So yesterday I was getting close to that trailhead and there was a lady with a dog and she was, I don't know, 15 years older than me, maybe, maybe 20 years older than me. She was a tall lady. And as I got up to the top of a hill and I was going on this long flat stretch, getting close to the road. She stopped. She was like staring at me as I got closer. And in a real monotone voice, when I get right by her, she goes, wow, that's a nice gate you got there. I was so, so caught off guard. I didn't know how to respond. I was just like, uh, thanks. And then my gate got faster. Anyway, just a funny story, I guess. Been climbing for a few minutes here and I gotta share this big view. I don't know if you can see it. There's an RV off in the distance. More big mountains. Wowza. About an hour in this morning. I was feeling some like raw or rubbing on my second little toe on my right foot. Like on the top and I've never had that before. Luckily, Fireball. Fireball had a Band-Aid handy. While I'm putting on a Band-Aid, she starts digging out a toothbrush, scrubbing her teeth, spitting toothpaste all over the place while I'm... <laughs> so far, it's been a great morning. The sun's come up, got warm pretty quick. Got beautiful mountains of snow in the background. Hopefully this Band-Aid will fix this issue on the toe. And we're just going to keep strolling north. Looks like we're coming up on some more water. Hmm. Okay, I think I can rock hop it. I'll let you know how it goes. I definitely can't rock hop it with a camera. I just made it across with dry feet. Although the top of one rock, I had to like stretch my toe out there and see how grippy my shoes were on it. Luckily it worked out pretty well. Now we're in the rest of this dry creek bed and I'll rejoin, the, I think a trail starts again soon off of this road. I don't know if you can see them in the camera here, but I'm gonna talk with my mouth closed. There are bugs everywhere. Just getting dive bombed with bugs. I've showed you lots of pretty flowers this morning, but look at these. You can smell them too. They're so pretty. Like they're delicate looking. Sitting here just hiding under this tree, getting a little bit of shade. Um, I had to put some water from my back bottles up to the, the water bottle on my chest strap. 
and put some electrolytes in it. I had a Cliff Bar with, uh, let's see, it was white chocolate macadamia. And um, now I'm just gonna sit here for another minute and get to walking, I guess. I missed it on video, but there are lots of side-by-sides and off-road vehicles. Actually, you may be able to see it right there. All right, now I'm gonna do a road crossing. Don't tell Roadrunner I plagiarized her road, her river crossing. You know what that right there is? That right there is a big old pile of rocks. My goodness. I'd hate to have to climb that. Got to do a road walk here next to that big old pile of rocks. And... I think I'm on the road for, I don't know, less than a mile, but for a little bit. So while I'm road walking, I thought I'd just talk to you all about a couple things. One, last night was fun. If you're hiking behind us or planning to do the PCT in the future year, there's a couple mallard ducks right there. My dad's got two mallard ducks that he feeds at home. He named them Mike and Molly. Wouldn't it be something if that was Mike and Molly? Just checking, checking on me out here. It'd be a long flight. Anyway... The Joshua Inn was a blast. We had a lot of fun there last night. It was just a really good local place. They didn't do a lot of filming. I don't even think I did a, an outro last night. Uh, we were just hanging out with other hikers. Played pool for a while. Played pool with a couple locals. Um, it was a good night. Had a lot of fun on trail. Glad we went there. The other thing I want to talk about is this sun is bright. And... I don't have any sunglasses. I usually have like sensitive eyes and I wear sunglasses a lot. So I hate that I lost mine yesterday. One, because losing them there at the hot springs was definitely leaving a trace and I don't like that I did that. And then I really liked those sunglasses. So now I'm gonna have to find some, hopefully tomorrow will be at McDonald's to Cajon Pass. So maybe at a gas station I can find some glasses. If not, I'll have to find some in Brightwood. But anyway, that's my situation. I'm acutely aware of not having sunglasses today. Here's a PCT post right there. So I know I'm on the right, right path here. I don't think I do a good job sometimes showing like road walks. There's not a whole lot of them, but when there are, we're literally just walking along a road here. It looks like I've got a half mile just walking on the shoulder of this road before the trail will pick up again. So sometimes we got to do this, not all that often, but it's actually pretty hard on the feet because of the harder concrete. The sign says that's the Cedar Spring Spillway. I'd like to see water shooting out of that thing. All right, I'm back with Roadrunner here. I was walking up the hill, talking to my mom and my sister on the phone, and Roadrunner had a really cool lunch spot under the shade. We sat and had lunch there. Hammer joined us, he's still back behind. Fireball got there, said she was gonna go on a scavenger hunt for picnic tables a couple miles up. So we'll see where she's at maybe. So far today, been fairly uneventful, other than all the beautiful sights and the bugs you saw earlier. It's just a day walking north. What a pretty lake. Okay, when I was on the other side, so that's a big old rock wall, I was on the bottom of that. We walked all the way around this. Roadrunner just said, we were just there. Why do we do all that? This is ridiculous. But it is beautiful. It is about 2 p.m. and it's hot today. 
this is the first day we've had in a little while that's like back to feeling real hot so we've done about 15 miles we've got about five more to go so we're just making our way and uh trying to stay cool but it's kind of a hard chore right now What were those? Were those some kind of grouse or what kind of birds were those? So that's where the that's where those things are living. And we got birds and lizards. Let's show you big views again. Say it with me. Wowza. Just made it to the high point for the day. And we're on the other side of that mountain this morning. The one with snow back there to the just left to center. We walked almost all the way around that lake. And now we're up to here. So here at the high point, done right at 18 miles today. It's 3.20 p.m. I'm gonna meet Roadrunner in, uh, sorry, I was looking for the trail. I'm gonna meet Roadrunner up here at a, the first campsite listed. We're meeting at about 1.5. Hammer's not far behind me. Haven't seen Fireball since about lunch, but Hammer said um, he went, she wasn't too far behind him because I talked to him. There were some flushing toilets in the campground back there. So I took a side path off trail and saved my cat hole digging skills for another day but man now that I'm up here I can see both sides the other side is not as gorgeous but I'll show you anyway guess what I found Roadrunner well it's not like she was lost I knew exactly where she was I got to where we were meeting and there's a supposed to be Really good tent sites, 1.9 ahead with water, which I stopped to get water because I wasn't sure where you were camping, so I already have plenty of water. I texted Fireball and Hammer, and instead of sitting there waiting on them, we're just gonna start walking. Um, make sure we got enough spots up here. I think there's a lot of people that left the place we stayed last night and may all be heading the same spot, so. You think? Roadrunners listing other people that weren't there last night that are probably staying there tonight too. So yeah, maybe. But I'm sure we will make it work. It's not me and Roadrunner are mean. We'll just start Go like home to McDonald's <laughs> if there's no spot. This is only eight more miles. I was gonna say we'd kick people out of the spots, but you're saying we're just going straight to McDonald's. It's only eight more miles. Yeah. Alright, we'll see what happens when we get there. There's Roadrunner's tent and hammer and fireball. And me. We're set up here. We got a pretty nice camp spot. It was a hot day today. We had our longest day so far on this hike. We did 21.4 miles and we were here by five o'clock. So that was a good day. And it, I don't even know what time it is now. Probably 6 30. We've already had dinner and everything set up. And I'm about to eat a final candy bar and brush my teeth and go to bed here in a little bit. Or at least edit some videos first. So have a good night, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow as we go to McDonald's. Was that creepy? Was that creepy? How is it McDonald's? <laughs> I think it was.